In our previous video, we enabled CI runs, and then we found that the snapshot images generated in an interactive GUI mode on Mac are twice as large in every dimension as the images generated in a headless CI run. So we changed our strategy and we generated snapshot images using a headless Cypress run on Mac. We committed those files and pushed them to CI. Even then, we found that there are differences in the way the fonts and the rendering engine actually produces pixels on Linux versus Mac. You can see in the middle, in red and yellow, the difference in pixels. To the human eye, the rendering looks the same, but the computer notices those pixel differences. To get around this, we enabled a threshold. How many pixels and percentage of an image is possible to be different and yet the image snapshot still passes its check. But in this video, I want to remove this. Instead of saying the image will be different, I want to switch how I generate the snapshot image locally on my Mac box. Instead of just doing Cypress run and updating the images, I'm going to run inside a Docker container using a command docker run by mapping the current working folder to the folder inside the Docker container and saying this is my working folder and passing Cypress update snapshot my variable using a container called Cypress included 4.5.0, which is the same version as the version of Cypress I'm using locally. We build this container and pre-install Cypress globally, so then you can just say docker run and it will run the local folder inside a Linux container. Additionally, I created a script called update snapshot that runs docker run command but passes update snapshots true. Using npm run update snapshot, I'm launching the docker container with Cypress pre-installed that runs the local component test and generates all the snapshots that look exactly as the snapshots that we use in Linux CI on Circle CI. And this is how we get identical images on a local machine and on a remote site. 